Hi there everyone, Andrew here from Growing Chefs. Today we're going to talk about food systems. Now our food system is the process that our food goes through from where it's produced all the way until it gets to our plates and even beyond. Our food system is what determines that we have enough food everywhere in the world where there are people to make sure that everyone gets enough to eat. It's what determines uh, that we have the options that we have when we go into the grocery store and that we can choose foods that we like. And maybe even more important than that, our food system is the jobs and the livelihoods for millions and millions of people all over the world. As well, our food system has been identified as one of the biggest uh, ways that human beings contribute to climate change. And there's lots of things that we as individuals can do to help limit the impact that our food choices have on the environment. In fact, our government in Canada and the World Health Organization have identified food systems as one of the most important things that young people can learn about as we figure out how to make sure that our food system will be able to continue feeding people well into the future. So today in this video, we're gonna take a quick tour through our food system to show you exactly what it means. Here we go. So the first stop in our food system is production. This is where all of our food begins. Usually this happens on a farm, but there are lots of other examples where food production happens, like in orchards, greenhouses, plantations, and even more. Without this step in our food system, we simply have no food to get to anybody, and it's one of the most important parts. So the next step in our food system is transportation. Regardless of where our food is produced, it's going to have to travel to get to the next stage. And this can happen in many ways. Sometimes food travels by truck, by car, even by bicycle. But a lot of our food travels by airplane or by boat because it has to travel a long ways from where it's produced to get to our next step. From there, the next step is transformation. This is where food is either processed or packaged or changed from one thing to another. This could involve grating eggs, it could involve pasteurizing milk, it could involve turning fruits into jams or jellies, or turning fruits and vegetables into preserves, or it could be as simple as just packaging up those ingredients to get ready for the next step in our food system, which is distribution and retail. So again, our food likely has to travel another step to get to where we go to buy it. So oftentimes that's a grocery store or a wholesale center uh, or places that deliver directly to restaurants or sometimes even our homes. But one of my favorite places to go to buy food is a local farmer's market. That's because you can cut out some of those other steps. But at the end of the day, there we have many, many options and places where we can go to buy food. From there, we have to take the food home to prepare it. Or sometimes that means the food goes into restaurants where it is prepared for us to go and buy. My favorite part of the food system is this part where I get to cook. And as a chef, it becomes one of the places in the food system where I get to be the most creative. The next step in our journey is consumption. And this is where we all get to sit down and share food together. And oftentimes, this is one of the only parts of the food system that people really spend a lot of time thinking about. And that makes sense, because it is the most delicious part. And the last step in our food system is disposal. This is where any of the food that didn't get eaten or didn't make it through the whole system ends up either going to the landfill or being turned into compost or feed for animals where it goes back to the farms and places where food is produced, producing a whole cycle for our food system. So thanks for following us on a journey through our food system. Our next steps in this lesson is to take some time as a group or a class and brainstorm all of the places where we see people fitting into that food system, whether it's buying food and eating food or whether maybe it's part of their job in getting food from one place to another, in producing food and transforming it, or just being there for you to go and purchase it. There are lots and lots of places where people are involved in the food system, and I hope you have some fun thinking about all the ways that we affect the food system, are involved in the food system, and rely on it. Thanks so much, everybody, and don't forget to check out the next part in our food systems lesson once you finish this one. Take care.